this curve This curve It's more than a vlog, it's a lifestyle Plus size, fashion and travel is my vibe Not a fantasy, you could travel the world with me There's so much to see Welcome back to my channel. It's Deanna, also known as D's Curve. If this is your first time here, I regularly post plus size fashion, travel, and lifestyle videos. If that's something you're interested in, definitely consider subscribing. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Today's video, as the title suggests, is going to be a spring essential. So we are now in the season of spring and Spring is a close second of my favorite uh, season. Summer is definitely my top one season, number one season, but I love spring but because it's a transition season. So we're coming out from the harsh winters and then we're leading into the harsh summers. So spring is just that in between. And I love the fashions that come through during spring. And so I figured I'd share with you guys what I think some essentials to have in your closet are. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. So the first item is actually something I'm wearing and that is a shoulder padded shirt. Um, these are not really new to the scene. I feel like last spring, last summer, I definitely saw these, but I never actually went and purchased one. And then I saw this one in this beautiful lavender color. And this color just screams spring. And I just love this shirt. It's like a t-shirt, but with a little extra bow wow boom. And I feel like the shoulder pads just kind of makes it look a little bit more classy. So you're taking a regular basic t-shirt and you're bringing it up a notch. And I just feel like this is the perfect spring essential. The next item on my list, which I think is probably, it probably should have been number one. This is probably the number one thing I think you need for spring and that's a pop of color blazer so i have two that i'm going to be showing you guys today let's grab them so the first one is this green linen material blazer and i'm gonna put it on so you can see how it fits now of course i wouldn't wear it with this or maybe i would this actually this color combination is a little bit of a vibe i may just wear it like that but this material is perfect for spring because it's not too warm um, like a winter blazer would be. And this is like for those days where it's not like super hot outside or really cold, but you need a little, a little warmth. This is perfect for that. I love this blazer and I will pop up a picture of how I wore it. Definitely love this one. And then the other one is pretty much the same color as the shirt that I'm wearing, but it's a lavender blazer. And this one is from H&M, yeah. This one is from H&M. This one is a little bit thicker. I have actually worn this in the winter before, but because of the color, it definitely gives spring vibes. So yeah, pop of color blazer is an absolute must. I feel like I wanna keep this on. I'm liking this monochromatic look. What y'all think? This is a vibe? Now granted, the this blazer, it doesn't have any shoulder pads, so the shoulder pads in the shirt, you know, it's still, it, it can still work. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this on all video long, okay? <laughs> so we are still, I took the blazer off. <laughs> We're still in the clothing category, and the next item, I would say for spring are floral dresses. So I have two I'm gonna be showing you guys today. Both of them are from, you guessed it, H&M. H&M is one of those places that I love shopping at because it's affordable, the items are cute, the quality is okay, um, and they cater to plus size. So it's a win for me. So the first item is this beautiful dress that I haven't even worn yet. I'm actually contemplating showing this to you guys because I'm going to be taking pictures in this dress this weekend. The tag, see the tag is still on it. And I want when I take the pictures, it'll be like the first time you guys see it. but. We're fam over here. When you see the pictures on Instagram, just know, just like the picture. But this floral dress. 
So what makes this essential for spring is first of all, it's long, like it has a sleeve. And so again, the spring weather, sometimes it could be a little bit more chilly and you don't wanna have spaghetti straps. So it has a little bit of a sleeve. And then the color palette, it's like, you know, that pastel type of color palette. It's just the cutest, the cutest little dress, you guys. Just super, super cute. The next dress is also from H&M. You guys have probably seen this one before. And it's the same concept, except this one has really long sleeves. I think I have a picture of me wearing this, so I'll pop it up on the side. But this one has long sleeves, and although it has black flowers on it, and black is not normally like a spring color, but it has tan, and you know, it's short enough where it's like, it could still pass for spring. The idea is just floral dresses. So that's that's the next item is floral dresses. So we have one more item in the clothing category. And I think again, super important for spring. And that's a white shirt. Now it could be a white button up. I have a ton of white button ups, different materials. Or you could go a little bit more fancy and do something like this. You can do like an off the shoulder little slightly cropped top and the reason i picked this one is once again it has a long sleeves so if it's a little chilly outside and the crop is already giving you a little breeze in your midsection you'll be warm because it has a long sleeves white i feel like whoever said you can't wear white after labor day i don't even know what they're talking about because i feel like white is a color that you can wear from january to december and it just depends on what you wear with it like white and denim is just an unmatched combination i love a white and denim and the picture that i'm popping up right now guess what i'm wearing white and denim and so this is also a really essential thing that you need to have in your closet for spring okay now we're gonna move into some accessories so you definitely need some cute purses I am not really a purse person, but I have been tapping into my feminine side. And I've recently purchased a few purses, and I'll just show you one because one of them I'm dedicating an entire video for. I'm gonna do a full unboxing because it's more on the luxury side. And so definitely stay tuned for that video. But the bag that I'm gonna show you is a light pink bag. Let me go grab it. So this is the bag, and it has a strap. And it's by Zach Posen. I'm not quite sure who that is. Never really heard of this brand before. But I got this purse at Macy's. And I just think it's the cutest little spring purse. Like, how cute is this? And you can remove the straps if you only want to wear it with the pearls like that. Oh, such a vibe. So, so, so cute. Like, just very cute and dainty. I've worn it before. It can fit my phone, my mask, hand sanitizer, my cards. It's pretty, let me let me show you guys. It's pretty um, roomy on the inside. So I even have stuff in there from the last time I worn it. So definitely a cute little pastel purse is a must. And then still in the category of accessories, you need some sunglasses. Like the sun is out, you need some cute sunglasses. So these sunglasses are by Gucci, and you guys saw when I went and got these. I hate that the ring light, you know, puts that ring there, but let's see if I can try to not, just, just try to see past it, you guys. But these are, the reason I picked these for spring is because they're like almost clear, and I just feel like that's a really nice shade for spring. Um, so I have tons of sunglasses. I actually really, really like sunglasses. And most of them are like black or dark blue. And I feel like this clear material, this clear like, you know, glass is perfect for spring. And then the final item on my list of spring essentials is a white sandal. So this sandal has a little bit of a heel, but it's super, super comfortable. And I'm recommending this one because one, it's comfortable, and two, it really takes your outfit to another level. So if you don't want to be too dressy, but you want to look put together, this sandal is definitely the one for you. And this style, the push toe front, is definitely in right now. This is the heel. 
not high at all like I wore these all day long when I went to brunch and no complaints they're super comfortable if they're still available I will link them below I did get them from Aldo but yeah some white sandals once again as I said forget whoever said you cannot wear white certain times like white I don't know I had to search high and low for the perfect white sandal because white sandals sometimes give me the vibe of like you know back in the day when you were a young little girl and you went to school well not to school but to church and your mom would give you these white sandals but then she'll put socks and stockings on you like white sandals sometimes give me that vibe but these are super cute super in trend and so yeah that's the final item on my spring essential list what what are you buying for spring first of all not even buying what do you have in your closet that you're pulling out for spring i would love to hear in the comments like what did i miss also on my list which what do you think is the most essential definitely let's talk about it in the comments if you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up comment down below and share it with a friend definitely if you're not subscribed to my channel do that turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos and i'll see you in the next one bye